Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental Branch. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue right where we left off, pretty much. I uh, did spend just a little bit of time off camera gathering a few things, but it uh, ha hasn't really been that long uh, since I left you in the last episode. So first thing we're going to do in this episode is we're going to build ourselves a workbench. So to do that, we need to go to Utilities, Workbench, and we need four scrap metal. Uh, so I've got two in there, and then we got a full stack here. I made up some makeshift patch tape, which I need a lot of in the uh, start of the game. And then let's see, we're going to probably just kind of keep storage along here for now while we're using the scrap storage so we'll go ahead and put the uh, the workbench here and turn it around this way and let's pop it right about here should be good and now that we have the workbench we should be able to make a little bit better uh, tools so if we go here uh, the very first thing we want to do is we want to make the makeshift chisel but before we can do that oh shoot we're gonna need a crude pipe to do a crude pipe yeah we can make a crude it just needs one, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's make a crude pipe for that. Um, and we're also going to, if we have enough stuff, we're going to make the crude metal sword too, which is a little bit better than the shard blade. Um, but we have to make leather. So let's go look in, uh, yeah, right here. So we have tin hide. So let's make as much leather as we can with that. And then we'll make the leather strips and then go from there. Uh, so let's see, while that's making up for the crude metal sword, we need um, a crude metal blade, which requires also scrap metal. So let's see. Yeah, we should have plenty of, of that. So let's make the metal blade there too. Very good. And then uh, now we need to make uh, leather straps. So let's make six of those. And we should now be able to make the chisel. So this will allow us to mine any any minerals up to uh, three hardness of three, which we're going to need, uh, you know, to get started here. The chisel also is, works uh, pretty much replaces the bashing stone too, so it's very good for harvesting like the berries off the trees and that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Let's replace the bashing stone. This we're just going to get rid of. We don't need it anymore. Um, and then let's see. So we got the blade, and we should be able to make this too. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. This is what I want to make. Okay. Almost made the wrong thing. Uh, no point in making the shovel. Now, the dragon tooth is something we can't make till later on anyways. And the axe is, unless they've improved this, this thing is absolute crap. So don't ever make the metal axe. It just sucks. So does the stone axe too, by the way. <clears throat> um, use the bashing stone in place of the stone axe. Um, and use the makeshift chisel in place of the crude metal axe. Uh, at some point, uh, I should probably test that to see if they've improved it. But last time I tried this, uh, it's just, it's absolute garbage. So, okay. So we got ourselves uh, the sword. So that's going to replace our shard blade. We no longer need this. I don't know why the hell I made one just to throw it away, but I did. Uh, we, we're gonna, we are going to continue using, though, uh, the crab scythe because it's still uh, the best melee weapon, you know, coming in at <clears throat> uh, up to 25 damage with that 25% critical. Uh, this isn't a bad weapon. It you know it it does up to fifteen damage, five to fifteen, with also seventy five percent critical. Uh, but this one does more normal damage too, so it's still the be the better weapon. This one's not bad though. You could use it too if you wanted to. All right, very good. Those are some important upgrades. Now we want to upgrade the workbench to a repair station as soon as possible. So we're going to need aluminum and lead, and a little more leather. We can get lead um, in. The mine, um, oh yeah, we got a storm uh, coming from that direction. If we kneel here, we're behind cover, yeah. Okay, so we can get, um, what was I saying? Lead in mine one, which is over by the uh, Bloodleaf Forest, which is should just be a little bit to the west of us. Uh, pro well, actually, probably more like the northwest of us. So we're going to go there to get some lead, <clears throat> and then, you know, uh, we can get aluminum easily by either mining it if we find it um, or simply by uh, salvaging. We get lots of aluminum from salvaging too. In fact, if we salvaged the dome superstructure right now, we probably, well, no, we'd get ingots. We need we need raw aluminum. So yeah, we're gonna have to go after some raw aluminum uh, to do that. Because once we can get this thing um, upgraded to a repair bench, you know, then we can repair our tools and we don't have to make them new when they break. So very useful. Uh, the other really high priority that we have right now is that wind is like super loud in my ears. 
is that we want to make the furnace and so we need a barrel and a crude pipe do we have see i had all that stuff before do we have a barrel in here oh we do we do have a barrel okay so here let's grab more of that uh, let's make a crude pipe all right so we have the barrel and the crude pipe now what else do we need oh we need two crude pipes Okay, not a problem. Uh, so let's make one more of those. It sounds like the storm, uh, the storm is abating. And now we shouldn't be able to make our forge, which we're going to set right here. Utilities, a uh, uh, furnace, forge. What do we... Oh, we, we didn't pull the pipe out of here. Those don't stack. Uh, I'm sorry, f furnace, not forge. I said... I said forge, but it's actually furnace. Okay, we're going to turn it this way. And boom. There we go. Okay, so out of the box with the furnace, we can smelt these metals and convert scrap rubber, glass, and plastic into normal of those, you know, the normal counterpart of those things. Uh, but we have some important upgrades we want to do as soon as possible. Um, the most important one are these two. The low heat upgrade allows us to cook. So we can cook meat and the fuel cell upgrade will allow us to do so without having to feed fuel into this. The, the fuel that this thing takes is um, uh, plant fiber, uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so these are the two priorities. We can worry about these later. These aren't super important for us to do right now, but these uh, these two in particular are the ones that we want to do. Uh, so let's see. We need to be on the lookout for brass, zamok, and gold, all of which we can get for more salvaging. And we need aluminum and a fuel cell to do the fuel cell upgrade um that that's copper that's silver yeah we, <laughs> we had all that stuff before that sucks okay there's gold all right so we got the gold requirement met so we just need aluminum and then some of those um uh, those other ingots so okay i think we're ready to to set out uh we are going to be on the lookout for another crab talent so we can refresh our our crab scythe um, until we can, you know, get it repaired. So we're going to go and head, like I said, to the northwest-ish and look for the Bloodleaf Forest. Uh, let me look at something here really quick. So we, we got five more of these for food and we got plenty of water. Yeah, so we're doing okay on food and water for the moment. Oh, you know what? Doggone it. I want to put the, I want to put this salvage back just so we have maximum uh, weight capacity. Uh, so let's just pop that stuff in there. We don't need to take the leather with us. We will take this with us for food. Uh, this can also be used as food, too. Okay. Let's head on out. So, yeah, again, uh, we want to go to the northwest-ish. Find Bloodleaf Forest. Go into Mine 1, where we can get lead. Oh, yeah, there's the Bloodleaf Forest right there. It's not very far away at all. It's a beautiful thing. Quite close to us. And uh, we need to find aluminum. You don't, whether we do so from salvage or from, is that a talon? No. Is there a, t there's a talon. Okay, good. So let's see. Now we need to get a, a bush. Down in that valley is uranium, which we don't need now. Right, let's go over to the Bloodleaf Forest and see if we can find a bush so we can make a new talon weapon. Because the one we have is over uh, half percent, uh, over half, uh, broken. What my mouth is trying to say. All right. So let's see. This should be nitrogen. Yeah, well, we don't need that right now. We'll get it later. This is what I'm looking for right here. So if we just whack this with here, that should give us some sticks. And then we should be able to make a new crab scythe. If we find everything we need for the upgrade station, uh, for Moving forward, we can just repair this, but for now, we have to um, replace it. Okay, let's go on into mine one. Um, is this new? I don't remember that thing being there. Hmm, maybe so. Okay, I haven't been into the mines yet on the new update, so I don't know if they have... Oh, no, that's not true. I have. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so <laughs> never mind. Uh, we are good to go. Now, deep in this mine, there's a room loaded with diamonds... Um, and there, there's also a way to get um, a diamond or two from a crate. 
but uh, for our purposes, um, we can actually get that a lot easier, more easily, in mine two, uh, which we will do later. Because so for right now, um, let's get a little more leather off the skeletons. You know, we can kill um we can kill one of the colossal beetles too and just get well, we got a, a half stack of leather off of just that one the last time we did it, so Okay, so here's the lead. Let's go ahead and get some of this. We don't need a ton of this, but you know, we'll we'll harvest a decent amount of it anyway. And we can also get silver in here. We silver is used among other things for uh for ammunition. So you need it to as one of the ingredients you need to make ammunition for the pistol. Uh, so that's something we, we want to grab, too. All of these nodes here have a uh, hardness of 2.5, and our little makeshift chisel can handle up to 3. So you do have to pay attention to that. These, um, these initial uh, tunnels here that we're in is where you'll find all the silver and the lead. A little deeper in the mine, you can find... Uh, mercury, cobalt, and I think it's just those two things. Maybe more lead too, I can't remember. Okay, let's eat these ferns for our nutrition. They don't give you a lot, but if you have a lot of them, they work pretty good. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that for a bit. And one more silver node. Oh, there, maybe there is silver deeper in the mine, too. Looks like there is, at least in this next room. So this is cobalt, and it's too hard for this, uh, for the makeshift chisel. So we'll have to come back and get that later. We can also find it out outside, too. I know the area that it, that it spawns in. This is mercury. It only has a hardness of 1.5. We will need this for some things, of course, later on, too. So we'll grab this now. Cobalt we can't get. Might as well grab this lead since we're here. Oh, we need to do uh, skill points and stuff, too. In fact, let's let's actually stop and look at that right now. We should be safe uh, back in this little corner. Uh, all right, so we're going to go to F6, and let's see what we got. So we have, uh, let's look at our stat points first. So we want to go, um, let's do a couple in health, a couple in strength, a couple in stamina, and then one more in each. You generally don't want to put more than about two points into speed in this game because otherwise you just get too fast and you get, you know, kind of squirrely. Okay, let's look at our, our skill points now. Um, so we have, uh, what are we doing? Engineering, we have 35 engineering points. This gives us salvage bonus, which I would like. Craft at higher health, which I think gives us, gives it, you know, whatever you're making more hit points. Hover boot, uh, increase the hover boot. That's going to be useful too. Uh, craft faster. I think I want to go with salvage bonus and craft faster, because that's going to really help us in the early game. Craft at higher health would be useful, but let's also salvage faster. Yeah, see, this gets us to salvage faster there. Yeah, let's let's get into salvage faster because that's, you know, I'm not going to do a lot of salvaging in the mid to late game, but in the early game we do. So this is really going to actually help quite a bit. Okay, let's take a look at combat next. Uh, so we want to, we got gun durability, increased mining damage. Yeah, that's kind of the one, one of the ones I was looking at. Uh, this skill tree is set up kind of odd though because... Related stuff is not necessarily next to each other, so you have to kind of spec into other things, you know, to 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 get to to get to the same related thing. It's just it's a little bit odd the way they set it up, but I'm sure they had a reason for it. Okay, so what's this do? Gun durability, all useful later on, not useful to us right now. Melee damage, starvation warning, um, is useful for sure. Uh, what does this do again? 
Weapon durability. That's not a bad one. Tool durability. That's going to help with like the chisel and stuff. And decrease suit breach. Um, really would like to get to the mining damage for now. So let's go down this way. Uh, two mining damage. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that takes care of combat. Now let's look at science. Uh, okay, so what does this do? Increase fruit yield. That's going to be useful for when we do our farm, but that's a little uh, later on. Faster plant growth is later on. Boost fruit nutrition too. Useful, but not necessarily something we need right now. Increase medicine potency. Decrease water. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Increase medicine potency. This is spacewalk. Solar panel out. But yeah, I think what I want to do is... Uh, go here, 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 and here. So we'll get that stuff done first, because that's all the stuff that's going to help us in the early game. Okay, so the skill tree is kind of cool the way they have it set up. Uh, I just think they need to kind of relook at it in terms of the order of things, because, again, it doesn't make sense, for example, to put spacewalking as a prerequisite to decreasing your water, because this is not coming until way, way later on, and this is stuff that we need in the early game, you know what I mean? So hopefully they'll look at that and, you know, make it a little bit more balanced. Excellent. Okay, so now uh, we should do a little bit better mining damage, and um, we're going to get the rest of this lead here. Okay, so from this point, uh, the mine just goes in uh, deeper, and you can still get mercury and, and cobalt back here maybe silver but i don't think you can get silver deeper in the mine but like i said earlier there you know way deep in this mine is a room that's chock full of diamonds but obviously we can't mine that yet because diamonds are the hardest thing in the game as you can imagine um but later on when we get the right chisel uh, then we will be able to do that so uh, let's go ahead and head on back out now we still need to find aluminum uh to get our our workbench uh, repair upgrade going so that's going to be kind of the next thing we're going to do, whether we do that, you know, via salvage or actually finding some aluminum notes. Okay, so we're outside of the mine, and aluminum occurs in a couple of different places on Proteus. Uh, what we're looking for on, by the way, that stuff over there is sulfur, which we don't, well, you know what, let's grab a little bit of it. We are going to need it for a few things. Um, but anyway, aluminum appears kind of like as a light grayish dot on the, on your HUD there. I'm just grabbing some of this now because it's here, right? We will need it. We don't need a ton of it, but we do need it for some things. All right, let's go this way. Got some scalia pods there. Not too worried about them. That uh, kind of greenish blue stuff down there is lithium. Um, I'm not sure if we can grab that with this chisel or not. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, we can. You also get this, though, from meteorites that fall, so I'm not too concerned about getting a bunch of this stuff. But we might as well grab a little bit of it again since we're here, right? Okay, that's good enough for lithium. Uh, we do have a wrecked rover down here that we could potentially try and salvage later. Oh, actually, though, you know what? Um, I'm going to actually grab this stuff off of it now because we could actually get the aluminum and in, in, uh, we needed something else. We need aluminum, gold, and something else. I can't remember. Uh, so let's just salvage the whole thing for now because there, there are more of these around that we could fix up later if we decided to do so. I'm not actually a, a huge fan of the rover. Because it's very expensive to make. Uh, and it, it's got decent storage, but it doesn't have any weaponry on it. And it doesn't do very good on hills. Again, unless they've fixed that since the last time I did it. I haven't driven one of these since, um, you know, since the stable release of the last uh, version there. So they could be better now. I'm not really sure. Oh, good. We needed brass, too, for something, too. So we just got some of that. So let's take a look. What did we, what did we get? Uh, so we got some brass. We got some dirt aluminum, which we need for a lot of different things. Uh, we got mercury, lithium. This is all the carbon, or not carbon, but uh, lead we did. 
and some silver and some sulfur. Okay. Well, uh, here actually, I can't. I don't. I don't remember what we needed for the upgrade. You can't see that in your own menu. You have to be in the menu of the item you're upgrading. So. Okay, let's keep looking around for some aluminum. That's kind of the most important thing right now. And or more stuff to salvage. Because again, like I said, we can get aluminum from salvaging stuff. That sounds like a meteorites. Wait, what? I don't know what that noise is. That's odd. Okay, well, anyway, let's continue on. Um, it shows, like, some nodes right in here, but I'm not seeing them. Weird. Yeah, I see the kind of light bluish gray nodes. They're not actually on the map. I haven't mined them yet. Hmm, yeah, that's not good. Let's turn our flashlight off. Okay, so over here we've got purple nodes um, and red. The red stuff is iron, which we can't mine yet with this chisel. And I think the purple stuff might be lithium. Wait a minute, where the hell are all the nodes at? They're missing. Look at my mini-map in the upper right-hand corner. There should be a whole bunch of nodes around here, and I'm not seeing them. That's not good. All right, here's an iron node here. So that one's there. This is a uh, four hardness. What the hell? Oh, we're out of food again. We have to watch out for those wasps. They will attack. Critical starvation detected. All right, let's eat one of those. Okay, that's not good. I think, yeah, here's mine too up here. Let's just go in there because we need to go in there anyway. And we have another uh, rover we could salvage. In fact, we have a bunch of stuff over there we could salvage. Let me look at this place really quick, actually. So what do we got? We have a biodome here. Oh my goodness, look at all the bugs. That's a lot of bugs. Get away. Okay. All right, so we've got a habitat here. Um, and we've got a biodome, which is actually facing towards the habitat, which is good. Oh, it's actually got a bio... Wait, is that a biodome? Here, let's get my light back on. Come here, you jerk. These guys will run away from you if you get them down. Okay, so, all right, let's look at this. This is, um, this is a, a biodome here. This is a habit, a habitat that's already connected to it, which means we wouldn't need to make a coupler. And then it's, is this an airlock? It is an airlock. It's even got an airlock on it and another dome here you know what you guys maybe we ought to move over here because this is a actually a better setup than what we currently have and I you know I haven't really established myself enough yet in the first place to where it would be a big deal to move especially since we lost a lot of our stuff anyway we'd have to remake our um, workbench and all that but that's not the end of the world there's actually two biodomes here that we could use, and there's two habitats. And it's right next to mine, too, which is good. Um, Yeah, I think we're going to move over here. I think we're going to actually do that. I'm going to do that off camera, though. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Well, let's take a look at our, our encumbrance. Okay, so we're only 66%. We're not too bad from an encumbrance standpoint. Um, I'm just going to look in here. I'm not going to loot much of this stuff yet um we need we're gonna need one of these but we already, ha we already have some here 
Okay, so that's just what I'm actually looking for. And I'm probably not going to find it by looking in the crates themselves. Uh, but what I was looking for is aluminum. So yeah, we're going to have to salvage to get that. Yeah, the monsters are out in force now because it's nighttime. All right, this is this is actually a really good find. Um, this is a, a, a good location, and the buildings are set up better than where we're currently at. So we are, we are going to move here. But again, like I said, I'll do that. I'll take care of that off camera. Uh, right now, what we want to do is we want to get uh, up to the mine. Uh, where did I see that at? We were up on the hill. I think it's over this way, right? Yeah, over here. Let's just hop into mine two really quick and grab the diamond that's really easy to get to. There's also a crate here. Uh, let's take that stuff. Okay, so mine two is, uh, you know, it's a bit of a different layout than mine one. Uh, but the thing that I like about this mine is it's real easy to get to the diamond. And and if you're wondering why the diamond is significant, we need a diamond to make the diamond chisel. And we need the diamond chisel to mine diamond itself and carbon and, a f you know, probably a few other things too that uh, require, you know, a, a level 10 chisel for hardness. Uh, I think we need to run into one more area here. No, wait a minute. Uh, where am I going? They, I hope they didn't change this. Get out of here. Okay, hold on. Let's go back here for a second. So we go there. Oh yeah, we we turn left. So we, we came through here, and you can always recognize this because it's kind of got that glitched out texture thing here. But it's basically when you get to the bottom of this um, ramp area with all these broken catwalks. And then you hang a Louie and get out of here. And then you come in this room and then you go left again. So it's basically two lefts and you come to this little doorway and inside of here you should find at least one diamond. Uh, we also got some tin and some water too. I was kind of hoping we'd find an aluminum nugget, but that's okay. All right, so let's take all of that. You can't get through this door at present. And then, like the other mine, uh, this also has a huge diamond room at the end of it uh, that you have to, you know, kind of kind of seek out. But that's not what we're worried about right now. So right now, what we need to do, of course, like I said, is we need to find aluminum. But I'm starting to think that it might not be in our best interest to do the upgrades on our workbench and our furnace because we're going to move and we're going to have to pull that stuff up anyways. I don't think you get full mats back for taking stuff apart. I, I know you, you def, oh crap, stupid dust storm. Um, you used to, you definitely used to not be able to do that. Um, but that might've changed. I'm not sure. Let's get behind cover here. Okay. Well, tell you what guys, I'm going to let this, uh, storm abate. And then I'm going to go back to uh, our current base and basically just grab everything, take apart all of the stuff that we set up, and move over to this, this new location because it's a little bit better location. Uh, it's more in the central part of the map for one thing, uh, but it's also, uh, and it's near mine too, but it's also, um, you know, it has more of the buildings that we want and they're positioned a little bit better. So I think the... Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are already subscribed. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.